we spend so much time like idolizing people and thinking, oh, they don't make mistakes. They're not human. They're perfect. They have Grammys and blah, 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 blah. But like he was a real person and he talked about his struggles. And like, I don't remember specifically what he said, but I do remember him talking about like struggles that he's had that I was like, yo, I had those same struggles. <laughs> like we're the same. Like that's the thing that I think we, and again, I really do think a lot of it comes from like being female, like just especially our generations. Like we were trained from an early age through like, propaganda that we see on tv like of how the traditional gender roles should be and like what women's place is and like recently i follow this group i think it's called w women non-binary i can't remember what it is but it's a facebook group you know what i'm talking about yeah so it's this facebook group and i don't really post in there very often but i do like look you know every so often see what people are talking about and there's this picture from the 1950s or 60s and there's like four men and they're playing trumpet and there's these really pretty women all around them with their arms around them and their leg up in the air like you know, and I know what the picture is trying to say. And I actually did comment on this by saying, like, listen, this is from a long time ago. And I think it's a gem because it shows us how far we've come and what this what the what we used to be appropriate. And now how we all know how horrible it is. Unfortunately, in this scenario, this person shared it because one of her colleagues had shared it um, in an inappropriate way, seemingly. So I think that it was really wonderful and refreshing when I was at when I was speaking at the IU um, community conversations event to to see someone and be starstruck, but realize that we're that that that's me too. He's just in a different place in time, you know. We're the same, and it was really empowering to me. It made me feel like I could do anything. To hear someone who I look at as like so successful and powerful talking about the same stuff, same problems. And mind you, I think he's at least like 20 years older than me. So like same problems that I'm dealing with now, it just made me feel so proud of myself. Like I'm like, oh, I'm the same. I'm the same, we're, we're cut from the same cloth.